see i have taken this example in the previous video so i am going to take this example only for explaining the deletion operation if you get how to delete data from a specific position then you can easily get how to delete data from beginning and how to delete data from end of the array fine so first of all we'll discuss the delete process with the help of this example then we will write down the code fine and also we'll discuss the time complexity see here we i have i have uh, taken these lines from the previous code only from the previous video that i have declared one array of size 50 so these bits from 100 to 299 would be allocated 200 bytes would be allocated by the memory manager for this array one variable size fine this is the maximum size but actually suppose the user wants to insert only 10 element five elements then we, we will ask from the user how much size he wants for the array so we'll ask enter the size of the array and the user will enter the size so for the size also four bytes would be allocated somewhere in the memory suppose the here i am taking the position at the address 304 and then we'll ask from the user the for the elements of the array we are going to initialize the array at run time so enter the elements of array for entering the elements loop would be started from 0 to size size is suppose 5 here i am taking array the in which size is 5 so loop would be from 0 to 4 because array index would be started from 0 and we are going to populate the array like this fine i have i have discussed this coding in the previous video in detail so you can check out that video see now suppose user has entered this data in the array now you will ask the user from which position he wants to delete the data and now see suppose he said I want to delete the data from position 2 right so position 2 means from this position index is 1 I am taking index and position different thing index is 1 but position is what 1 2 second position so from this position I want to delete the data this 2 I want to delete so simply if you delete this 2 so now what you will do you cannot shift 6 here because this space you cannot leave it blank but one thing you can do you can shift 10 this side 4 this side and 5 this side that would be fine and after shifting these elements the size would be decreased by 1 so after deleting this data size would become 4 right now size is 5 so we are going to shift this 10 this side this 4 this side and 5 to this location right so we are going to start a loop how you can do this see here we have two so we are going to start a loop from here suppose we are i'm going to take a variable i i would be started from this one from which index position minus one i would be started from position minus one because position is two so i value is one right till position minus one two here till four or you can say size minus one size is five so here till four or you can say till three why till three i'll tell you see now we are going to shift i would be started from here so now we are going to shift this value here so here what you can write this value of this array of 2 would be shifted to array of 1 so you can say i plus 1 to i right so we have shifted this 10 here now again we shift this i would be incremented by 1 now i is this one now now we will we'll shift 3 value at index 3 to 2 so 4 would be shifted to here so here we will write 4 fine 10 would be overwritten 10 is no more now again we are going to shift now i would be incremented i is at this place now this 5 would be i plus 1 value would be shifted to i value so 5 would be shifted here so here you will write 5 so now simply you can say you can delete this one or you can say now size becomes size minus 1 so you just do size minus minus see i am going to process the loop i'm going to run the loop till 3 not till 4 because when i is equal to 3 then simply we write what this a of i plus 1 that is 4 would be shifted to a of i that is 3 here only so no need to increment this i here we are going to run the loop from here till here only till size minus 1 that is fine fine so this is now the updated array and if you want to print which data you have deleted so what you can see before shifting this 
these values you can write down what you can take this value and you can store this value to somewhere you can say you can take one uh, variable that is item and you can store here two and after that you can print this if you simply want to delete then no need to store this two value here you simply start a for loop and start shifting these values start a for loop from position minus one so now we will write down code for this see here size we have taken array of size initially we have taken five after deletion it becomes four so now you want you will ask from the user at from which position you want to delete the data fine and user will enter its position so you will write so this is how we are going to ask from the user so you are going to take a variable that is post for position for storing the position fine because obviously when user will enter the data for position then that value would be stored in memory and how value would be stored in memory using variables fine so see now now you also check see now if position is minus 1 if user entered minus 1 then what happens then obviously there is no index of minus 1 na? so we will also check the position should be a valid position and if user enter position is equal to 48 so now at 48 we don't have any data fine so this is also invalid position we have data from 0 to fourth index only before deletion the data was from 0 to 4 so you can enter from 0 to 4 the position would be valid so you will also write down a if statement to check the validity of this position if position is less than equal to 0 or position is greater than size right then it becomes you will print invalid position see here i am taking position would be started from 1 that is why this is position 1 so that is why i am taking position should be greater than 0 that is position would be started from 1 right and position should be uh, less than size size is 5 so 1 2 3 4 5 this is the valid position only right because if you give 6 then at 6 we don't have any data right and you will also check if there is no data in this array then obviously that is underflow condition and you cannot delete the data else you will write now for loop would be started now we are going to delete see suppose position is this one so position is 2 user has entered a value 2 for this from this position you want to delete so from this position only you are going to shift this to this then this value to this you are going to shift something like this so we are going to start a loop from i is equal to position minus 1 position is 2 so loop would be started from 1 i is equal to 1 now and i should be less than size minus 1 minus minus i plus plus why i less than size minus 1 see size we have taken 5 at starting and we are going to run this i for loop till 3 so till 3 means size minus 1 size minus 1 is 4 so i should be less than 4 that is till 3 we are going to run you can run this for loop till 4 that is also fine but obviously that would uh, that would increase the time taken for computing uh, for this for loop only so, fine so that is of no use so now in this case you will write what so now here you will write the a of i plus 1 value would be shifted to a of i when i is equal to position minus 1 that is position minus 1 that is 1 i is equal to 1 so value of this 1 plus 1 that is 2 a value of 2 would be transferred to value at 1 that's that is exactly we have done fine and now now what you will do now you have done your shifting till this till this so now you will write size minus minus because size has been decremented by one now right and now at last you can print the array I, was, uh, I guess you can print the array updated arrays just write down a for loop from i is equal to zero to size less than size now size is four after size minus minus this size becomes four right this value becomes now four so from zero to three value would be printed i is less than size and in for loop you can write printf percentage d a of i this is how we are going to delete the data 
and one more thing i have told you in the previous video also that uh, in uh, arrays when we are discussing arrays in c then there is no concept of bound checking it means suppose you have declared array of size 50 and if here you will enter the size of array is 60 and if you start entering the data you can you can easily enter 60 elements but that is not possible because that should not be possible right because at starting how much space has been allocated for 50 elements only for, for this only from 100 to this 200 bytes so how can you store 60 elements once you have declared and, and as we have uh, read that uh, that uh, array size is fixed once you have declared the size you cannot change the size right so this is now the you have to check the programmer ha programmer have to write a code to check the boundaries of the array so after this after entering the size you can write down one if statement if size is greater than this maximum size greater than 50 then you can print out of bound and in else block you can write further enter the elements and this for loop right and after that you can print the updated array see here no need to store this element in any at anywhere because we just want to delete the data so just shifting would be enough if you want to print which data you have deleted from the array then you can store before before this for loop you can write item suppose you will take one variable where you will store the value so you can write item is equal to a of position minus one position minus one that is a of one a of one is two two would be stored in this item right and after that you can print the value deleted is and you can print you can say that print percentage d and item you can print so if you take this case here also you are going to declare a variable item fine but if you don't want to print the value you can simply ignore this one and simply write down this for loop so if you want to delete the data from the end of the array then that is very easy no shifting would be done no need to ask for the position no need to write down this for loop just to size minus minus right fine and uh, if you want to print then you can store this value in item and you can print that value fine and if you want to delete from the beginning then what you will do if you want to delete the 6 then from the beginning only you are going to start the for loop for i and all the values would be shifted here left side so you are going to start this for loop from i so updated for loop from if you want to delete from the beginning then the updated for loop would be for i is equal to 0 i would be started from 0 only and i should go less than size minus 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 1 same and i plus plus and simply write down this thing only a of i and i plus 1 and after that size minus minus fine because we are going to start from this position only now we know the fixed position is you are going to delete the data from 0th index so start from the zero only so if you talk about the time taken the time complexity then here also the time complexity depends on the position from where you want to delete the data if you want to delete the data from this position then you are going to shift all the elements n theta n if you want to delete from n then obviously theta 1 so it depends on the position at as we have discussed in insertion case so theta n minus p you can write but simple logic is see this is unsorted array so ordering of these elements does not matter here so rather than shifting we can do what the very quick algorithm is what if suppose you want to delete data from this position position 2 so simply what you can do you can pick the last data from the array and you can put this data here only right and you can do size minus 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 and size would be from 0 to 3 so this is now our array and that is deletion so it is it will take constant time that is theta 1 order of 1 you can say but if array is sorted in that case this ordering of the elements would matter in that case you cannot do this thing you can directly in that case you can't pick directly the last element and place at the position from where you want to delete the data because it will you know disturb the order of the elements in sorted array in sorted array it is must to use this process the shifting process but in unsorted array you can do this thing so the best algo will take how much time theta 1 or you can say order of 1 1 but the condition is this array should be unsorted here we are here we are, we are taking what linear array or you can say 1d array that is unsorted in that case the best algo would take constant time to delete the data from any position from the beginning from any specific position or from the end 
so now i am going to start the topic linked list from the next video so i'll see you in the next video till then bye take care